He has presented a number of papers in various national and international conferences, including his interesting practical presentation on critical teacher reflection, a journey towards a new practical dimension. He has immense interests in teacher professional development, teacher education, translation, and teacher networking. He is a nature lover and has a hobby of composing poems. Whenever he gets a free time, life member of Nelta, Mr. Pordial is currently an Anfil Research Scholar. So here I would like to now uh, welcome today's third our presenter, Mr. Pushparaj Pordial. Over to you, Pordial sir. Uh, thank you, Lakshman sir. Thank you. Uh, it's, is my screen being shared, D N sir? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, yes. Thank you. It's clear. Uh, thank you, Lakshmi Bhatta, sir, for being kind enough to introduce me. It was a long introduction, though I don't actually deserve this. Uh, it's really an honor and privilege for me to be part of this conference organized by Nelta Province 7. Thank you, Nelta Province 7 Conference Coordinator, Mr. D. N. Joshi, sir, and all the respected seniors and dear colleagues who are virtually present here today in this conference. After the grand success of 12 day long virtual conference organized by Scholars Association of Nepal, uh, DN sir once again has coordinated with Nelta Province 7 and hopefully this conference will go even better. All the best for its grand success. Uh, and my presentation today is based on my one year long webinar on action research conducted by Professor Dr. Lakshman Gewali sir of Kathmandu University, Sagun Sresta of uh, Dublin City University, the UK, and Dr. Suman Laudari of University of Technology, Sydney, Australia. So this presentation is based on that. And before, and I would like to uh, welcome you all to this brief presentation on uh, action research, what, why, and whose cup of tea. Uh, so uh, before I really begin a session, as a teacher, I want to reflect uh, how I have been feeling during this uh, uh, pandemic situation, and then I will move to my uh, presentation. Uh, the present health catastrophe is heralding a paradigm shift in almost uh, all the dimensions of humankind and nature. Uh, the society has been giving value to the rich uncritically, and this has led to achieve more power state forwardly. Uh, we never ever rummage reasons behind their lostness. Uh, the ones who went uh, to Europe and America in the name of uh, study, but never loved and returned to the motherland received value in the society. And the same is the condition even today. We appreciate and value their cars, big mansions, greasy skin, an abundant lifestyle. However, the society forgets to recognize the contribution of the peasants, workers, teachers, and other folks belonging to the lower stratum as though they are always destined to persist there. The peasants working hard all the seasons in the field to grow crops and vegetables who only have been ensuring the human survival uh, on the earth live in insufficiency and date at all times. They are not even given a right to decide the price of their products. Uh, for example, the peasant grows sugar can and its price is fixed by the sugar mills. Uh, it is the same for all the products produced by her or him, but an intermediary person makes extra money by selling the product at, at uh, double price. Uh, uh, and then the same is condition of the workers and laborers. They are not given the right to determine the price of their labor. The contractor fixes it. This is truly injustice with the same token, the teachers, we teachers cannot afford the fees for our children in the same school or college where we have been working. The society compares uh, the teacher with the people having other than the teaching profession and the teacher, a harbinger for change is underestimated for he does not enjoy a profuse lifestyle despite her or his contribution and dedication in imparting education and leading the society toward 
forming it an egalitarian one always where we are leading our society to this is my question to all in fact we are encouraging to live an affluent life by any means we have not been able to set good examples to the new generations they have learned from us to become selfish and concentrate on the interest and profit of oneself we are not respecting hard work and perspiration today humans are portioned into various partitions in the name of politics religion credo and so on undeniably we are blindfolded and ignore someone's wrongdoing only because he or she belongs to us our political ideology religion color etc we have always been the promoters of nepotism so we are perpetuating injustice at the cost of righteousness the same we are doing with the nature the overuse of the natural resources has led to the natural dilapidation and the offsetting effect of the extreme weather and global heating have been realized in our mundane subsists the nature can no more supply the resource to satisfy the humans on satiated greed and demands it seems mankind have traversed their limit and nature can no more bear the burden henceforth let's widen our hearts along with the widened size of our building let's coexist with all other beings and artifacts on the earth let's not be the insistent pleasure seekers all the time let's be proud of our ancestors and their simple subsistence there was a competition and rivalry in the past as well but it was for humanity and simplicity the present paradigm is no more going to work once the effect of the existing predicament gets over and indubitably is recalling for the shifts in all the dimensions let's not forget we all are the visitors on the earth and we'll have to return some day maybe in the form of smoke or soil let's remain original and organic loving our own land and ethos may all beings and things remain prosperous after uh, reflecting what i felt during this pandemic let me begin with my presentation so moving on to the next is my slide on presentation overview so today i'll be discussing little bit about background because uh, action research is related to a reflection aspect as well so a little bit reflection i did and uh, in between also there will be some then uh, what research actually is the presenter and participants will learn together and from one another in demystifying research today uh, and i am trying to make my uh, session as interactive as possible uh, uh, hopefully uh, all the participants will part uh, participate in different activities that i have designed and uh, understanding action research uh, uh, what action research actually is why it is necessary uh, whose responsibility is it to uh, carry out action research why it is necessary what are its objectives kind of things we will discuss here say uh, and on the basis of uh, the um, uh, description of action research i will try my level best to connect it with the Uh, post method pedagogy propounded by kumar abadi belu because it also gives emphasis to the context and particular group of teachers particular goal particular participants uh, socio cultural milieu etc so i hope this will be equally applicable and then process of action research we will deal with and i hope uh, i will make it practical and our teachers will be able to you know uh, go through action research and carry out action research once i once the presentation gets over and finally we will have some feedback and conclusion um then uh, of course and then a short uh, reminiscence i want to uh, reflect because this is also related to action resource because our teacher needs to be very creative and our teacher should be very hard working industrious and should be able to motivate the students in the classroom uh, and then for that the teacher needs to be really really hard working so creative at the same time uh, some have the capacity of singing i don't have that quality so sometimes i you know uh, compose poems and uh, these poems are very much liked by my students so i wanted to uh, recite this and then uh, i also request all the teachers to do such kind of activities in the classrooms because these things are really really important then what is there in the textbook these uh, textbooks written by some people who don't have practical experience of classroom may not be equally motivating to our students so uh, this kind of creation by the teachers are really valuable and then 
a safe. Uh, am I audible? A D answer. Okay, it's all about uh, reminiscing the days gone by. Everybody loves uh, the childhood and then loving my childhood. I composed this poem, which I want to recite here. Uh, hopefully you will uh, love it, uh, listening to it. Uh, reminiscing the days gone by. I always reminisce my days by gone. Those spent climbing mulberry trees upon school. I went on foot far was then, was across the forest down the lane. On way back home stood a mulberry tree that sobbed sweet mulberries for me free. Wore the same uniform, school and home, had a lot of friends to visit and roam, releasing carefree days, life was easy, before all were free, none seemed busy. Joys and fervor the childhood gave, showing a clear avenue for me to pave. Time transfigured me, making a man old, withered I am now, as my past I behold, being once a child, I long to cherish again, ready to resign all for my childhood regain. What a pretty childhood mine, spent loving every rain and sunshine. God, can you make me a child again, watching me growing old from heaven? So this kind of activities we can do in our classroom. And these activities are really, really important in the action research as well. So uh, now let me move on to next slide. Yes, in this slide, uh, we see uh, the banking model of teaching and learning, which we have been practicing at present. Yes, the common course means the set standards we try to insert into our students' mind because our students have to reproduce them uh, in three hours examinations and our capacity, our ability, uh, our success uh, are depicted through the students' performance. This is the uh, system of education that we have been focusing at present. And then uh, uh, whether they perform better or not, we don't care about making them a creative thinkers, critical thinkers, simply what we do, we deposit our knowledge. We are following the banking model of teaching. Uh, we are imparting education to the learning using banking model, thinking that they are the empty vessels. They don't know uh, many things, but we teachers know uh, everything as if um, our education system, our modality of education is like that. But whose role is it to unlock the mind that has been locked down at present? Uh, the present kind of education has, uh, you know, uh, locked the mind of the children. So there is no focus on critical aspect of uh, uh, teaching and learning. We are not making them able to ask questions. We are emphasizing on success rather than goodness. So we are providing them the theoretical knowledge. The land outside, just outside the window is very fertile. It is bare there. We don't ask them, we don't make them to work there. But what we do, we just teach the agricultural text, the process of growing a plant, of, uh, you know, sowing the seed kind of things we teach, but uh, it's not based on practical aspect. In fact, we are dehumanizing them. Our teaching and learning today is not praxis based. Dial in a dialogic form, we have not been teaching as uh, the Brazilian educationist views opines about dialogic form of teaching. So we give education to our students. Actually, we are turning them uh, into the past or say we are making them from human to apps are human to uh, something else that does not love the coexistence. They, uh, something uh, he or she does not love, uh, have the feeling of coexistence, does not love the nature, does not love the surrounding, does not, does not love the nation, does not love the people. What kind of education actually we are giving them? 
So uh, in these uh, things also, we have to take care. Uh, we are actually thinking them, um, to, uh, uh, they all are exactly alike as if like that we have been teaching. Our sitting arrangement is like that. Our textbooks, curriculums are like that. Can we uh, uh, equally apply to all because there are people who want to become players who want to become teachers, who want to become researchers, who want to become scientists, and everyone we are deal dealing in the same way. Uh, actually, uh, what Marjorie was also talking about, you know, different learning styles they have, different purposes they have, is Bell Hook's essay I went uh, through uh, the confronting class in the classrooms. What we expect from the students is the common core. What we uh, expect from them is the behavior that is very digestible in the classrooms, but we don't take care of the background, the um, diversities they bring into the class. And we have not been able to address these diversities. We have not been using these diversities as an asset. Rather, uh, we are focusing on the uh, theoretical aspects of teaching and we keep focusing that. So simply, I would like to request all my dear participants to, uh, I will be pasting this on chat box and to express something about uh, the question that I have um, already kept there. Uh, so let me copy this. So may I request uh, the participants uh, to go, uh, please click on the link given there or simply copy the link and then you can uh, paste it on the Omni box or chat box of your uh, Google search engine. May I request, there are a few questions or uh, perhaps only one question is there. So padlet.com. Simply what you have to do is you have to copy this uh, a link and then you have to paste on the search engine chat box there. Let's do. So let's make the session interactive one. Good. Let me check now. So dear participants, could you make it happen? What you have to do is you have to Pushpa sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that link uh, is not sent there to chat box. Uh, it's there, sir, chat box, once you check there. Uh, no, it is not seen in my chat box. Okay, chat. okay. Uh, now, you now, now it's seen. Okay, now okay. It is seen. Sir, there is a question. What is research? Please, uh, in place of title, you write your name. Simply, you, uh, if by clicking the link, if you could not enter, what you do, you copy the link and then uh, you paste it in the chat box of your Google search engine. Uh, could you make it happen? Uh, mean sir so 
everybody. Can you make it a bit interactive? Just you know, um, yes, yes. Copying let's, it. Let's, in let's the, do it. Uh, a bit the, interactive because you know while teaching through Zoom uh, yeah. software, our students they just mute themselves and then they off the video and then they go away. It's because we are not uh, you know using a very interactive sessions. Uh, it is so one of the reasons session for teachers. Uh, all right, all right. Or simply you write on the chat box what research is in your opinion. So, okay, forget about this. Uh, in your chat box, you write what research is. Let me check. Let's make it a bit. Uh, we got it. Sorry, sir. Could not. Could you explain again, please? Okay. Uh, so, Krishna, sir, what you have to do is uh, uh, simply by clicking on the link, control, and then. Click the mouse button, uh, control and mouse button. I think it works. It leads you to my Padlet. Could you do that? Uh, at a time, you, yes, very good. Uh, at a time, you have to click the link as well as control button, a uh, bottom of your uh, computer keyboard. Good. I could do this. Yes, it takes me to my Padlet easily. Hopefully, you can do it. Yes. Could you do that and double click there? Double click. Please double click. All right, maybe some problem is there. Fine. Then let me present. All right, moving on to the next, uh, we have what is research? Yes, uh, research simply refers to, uh, uh, it comprises two syllables, re and source. Uh, research, uh, re means again and over again, and to source means to examine, uh, to investigate closely and carefully, to probe, to penetrate, to dig deeply, it means. Uh, and so research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of a topic or issue. At a general level, research consists of three steps. Simply pose a question and uh, to address that question, we collect data and we answer questions. But research is not that easy. It's Cresswell outlines. And then also Cresswell out outlines the research process cycle here. First one is identifying a resource problem. That is from the broader area, you will narrow down your problem, but you will focus on a particular problem. You will specify a problem. For example, these days I'm busy carrying out a research on English language. So many problems were there. In English language also, how it is used in the schools. In schools also, private schools, kind of things we, uh, we narrow down, identify a particular research problem. Then reviewing the literature, we review the literature as well. Then uh, locating resources, uh, and then uh, we have specifying a purpose for research, identifying the purpose statement, narrowing the purpose statement to research questions. So uh, we collect data, we analyze the data, we follow certain procedures, and finally we prepare the uh, report. So there are uh, so many processes, so many steps of research. Good. Then moving on to the next, uh, I have here, uh, research definition by Kothari, 2004. Research is a scientific and systematic source for pertinent information, relevant information on a specific topic. It's a, indeed a movement from known to unknown and a voyage of discovery because you need to uh, work very rigorously. Um, you need to um, invest a huge amount of you know, resources time, efforts, money, materials, so many things in academic researches, but unlike these researches, action researches, to some extent, uh, uh, teacher research, and it is carried out in a small scale. It's uh, comparatively, it's easier. It is useful for the teachers. And also talking about research, uh, 
systematic inquiry designed to collect, analyze, interpret, and use data to understand, describe, predict, control, an educational or psychological phenomenon or to empower individual in such context. Because while carrying out academic researches, we are guided by uh, certain uh, research paradigms, for example, positivist, post-positivist, uh, uh, interpretivist, uh, criticalist, uh, transformative, uh, um, post-modernism, uh, uh, social transformative kind of pragmatist, so many uh, kinds of uh, research paradigms are there. We are guided by them and we see our research through uh, the theoretical lens given by them. So uh, research is carried out in a large scale. But my concern here is action research. Okay, I was also planning to go to menti.com. Uh, perhaps we have some kind of problems. Uh, so it's okay, menti.com also we could do or if you are willing to share your opinion, you can share there on the chat box uh, directly. You can, uh, uh, what, what is action research? So let me know what is your understanding about uh, action research? Yes, Kesav Thapa sir had told about something which is already in existence. Yes, there was, uh, okay. Research is an act of torturing uh, data to make it confess. Wow, Mindavadi sir has uh, given a very good idea. Yes, we uh, interpret data, we deal with the data, we collect, gather, analyze, we play with the data. Good, very good. And then, uh, yes, research is that. And action research, if you have any understanding about action research, please let me know. Action research. Uh, action research. What do you mean by action research? Uh, let me check the chat box. Research to address the practical problem faced by the teachers. Yes, Min sir has written uh, research. Action, Santosh sir has written action. Uh, research is the real face-to-face uh, -face actions. Fine. Uh, research done by teachers to find the solution to his classroom problems, written by Parsu Shrestha sir, was together in the webinar, one year long webinar. Uh, and then it is research which have been done as soon as possible to find out fact. Uh, Karan Singh sir has written. Similarly, Navraj Panta sir has written transformative change through the simultaneous process of taking action and doing research. Hiralal Saha sir writes, action research is the immediate solution of the certain problem of or issue, okay, faced by the teachers themselves. Research is an act of seeking for truth. Krishna sir writes, fine. Yes, you have uh, lots of information about action research. And then my presentation today is also based on action research uh, and that uh, the webinar that I took for a year long. Uh, uh, let's go to action research now then. Uh, yes, action research and academic research, though these two arrows are, you know, um, um, they are torn to two different opposite directions. Uh, it does not mean that they are totally different. Uh, they are related to some extent, uh, extent because uh, uh, both contributes uh, contribute for uh, policy reforms for uh, to solve certain practical problems um, uh, as well as to contribute in the existing body of knowledge. Action research is more much more practice based. It is carried out by the teachers themselves. So in comparison to ex uh, academic research. Uh, it does not require uh, investment of, uh, you know, effort, time, uh, uh, and other things uh, equally. Uh, so uh, some misconceptions are there. Uh, action resource is not research because uh, 
um, re research is done something after reading a lot of reading is required a lot of reading is done to carry out a research and after carrying out a research a paper is to be published we have to write a paper huge investment is uh, uh, necessary so these kind of misconceptions are there but but actually this is not the case we can carry out excellent research i will show you one excellent research report that i developed also and then uh, let's go to action research now uh, then this is the action research okay a research which is initiated and carried out by teachers into issues of importance to them in their own work because uh, only the wearer knows where the shoe pinches we teachers really know the context we are very context sensitive we know the diversities of our students uh, what kind of diversities they bring into the classrooms um, so uh, all kind of diversities in terms of uh, socio cultural milieu in terms of politics in terms of uh, gender in terms of caste in terms of their socio economic level these kind of things uh, are known by an informed teacher therefore teacher is always an informed teacher he knows so many things about the participants about the context so if a research is carried out by the teacher then that works better such research is by teachers for teachers and their and for their students and it is carried out uh, with the purpose of professional development and improvement of teaching and learning so simply so to improve our teaching learning practice the teachers they carry out excellent researches which we can carry out we don't uh, you know um, need to invest a lot of resources kind of things we don't have to do simply we can publish our research reports getting different platforms we can share our excellent research in such platforms it does not mean that you need to carry out always academic research is being teachers we can carry out excellent researches as well to address the problems contextual problems that are happening in and outside the classroom it can therefore follow some rules of its own and does not need to mimic academic research it is research but of its own kind so uh, it is full fledged research don't have misconception that action research is not research and uh, action research is a form of professional personal professional development of the teacher is a means of finding solutions to practical classroom problems which which i already explained hammersley 2004 also uh, uh, opines the same then action research so, uh, has bright terminology yes sir uh, sir i am sorry to interrupt you uh, i think you haven't shared the slides slides uh, slides are not shared sir okay let me share once yes, again sir. fine let me share screen share my slides sir are they visible now yes sir now visible very good sir so action research has so many terminologies these days some say practitioner research some say classroom research some others say uh, collaborative inquiry critical inquiry teacher research exploratory practice uh, so these kind of terms are now um, there in the field Uh, then characteristics of action research then what is action research action research simply is uh, undertaken by teachers is carried out by teachers uh, either individually or collaboratively with or without the support of other teachers so teachers in a group also they can carry out action research or simply by a single teacher also this can be carried out so this is based on the data primary comes from the context that is classroom or school premises uh, and this is also research and our research cannot be random collection of data so it is a systematic collection and analysis of data for a specific purpose uh, so which usually relates to clarifying aspects of teaching uh, for the enhancement of teaching and learning practice this is carried out so action research also involves some voluntarism and self initiative from the teacher researcher because we teachers need to be always proactive we should have that uh, willingness to change the uh, teaching learning scenario then rational for action research is uh, uh, always yes teachers are always the uh, better researchers because 
teachers are informed teachers teachers know the reality of their context so uh, if an outsider comes and uh, does the classroom research does the research in the schools that may not work um, as much as the teacher um, gets the findings of his or her research because teacher knows the reality bitter reality of uh, all the ups and downs all the sufferings the teacher undergoes so um, it is the teacher who can become the best researcher so if it is teachers who are ultimately responsible for tackling the problems then why others why uh, we should apply the solutions given by others why we teachers not carrying out the uh, research of our concern so research is not the exclusive domain of a specialist trained for the purpose uh, of carrying researches rather teachers can become better researchers too see anmol podward 2000 Uh, 18 opines this then uh, what is the purpose of action research of course um, uh, uh, for the heightened uh, 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 all rounder uh, understanding all round understanding of the classroom and teaching learning processes more reflective and analytic approach of teachers of learning and teaching so we can reflect we we can revisit the situation that is there in the context we are always there present so uh, we can analyze we can reflect and we can uh, come with better solutions so more informed classroom and professional judgments by teachers so we don't have to depend um, uh, on others for the uh, solutions of our practical problems we can do and our tensions our problems will be decreased and uh, enhanced teaching and learning can be ensured uh, after um, the findings of the action research and if they are properly addressed so this is the benefit of action research uh, sorry yes then again i had uh, uh, this activity menti.com can we use this menti.com i think simply you have to uh, go to your google um, uh, search engine chat box and there you have to simply write menti.com menti.com can you type please menti.com uh, and let me copy this Five seven zero one five six. Uh, sorry, everyone. So you please type menti dot com in your Google search engine chat box. Then you insert five seven zero one five six. This is the code. It asks for a code. and you insert 570156 could you make it happen so uh, in your uh, regular teaching also if you have been uh, taking classes of uh, uh, in your colleges in your schools then you can uh, employ this kind of activities so the students are interested Five seven zero one five six, menti dot com. You have to type. You have to insert this code, and let's check what happens. Uh, okay. Again, I need to share later on. So let me. Let me check once menti dot com. I am also typing menti dot com Google search. Uh, interactive presentation software. Sign up. okay it asks for different things uh, i think my slides are not being shared right 
So let me share once again. Share screen, slide, okay, share. I hope now my screen is visible or simply you can uh, write there, who do you think is responsible for uh, carrying out action research? Teacher being part of uh, school, community and society, Ultim ultimately the teacher is in the middle of school, community and society, teacher, uh, has to address the practical problems of his teaching and learning. A uh, teacher is responsible as well as the school is also responsible, we can say, but at the center, there is always teacher. Uh, I hope my slides are uh, visible now. Good. Then uh, connecting action research to post method pedagogy. Little bit I want to uh, you know, uh, connect action research to post method pedagogy also because uh, uh, Kumara Badi Bhelu has uh, uh, highlighted the practical aspect of teaching and learning. Uh, and he talks about three pedagogy of particularity, pedagogy of practicality, and pedagogy of possibility. And these are very much related to action research as well. Uh, the parameter of particularity requires that any language pedagogy must be sensitive to a particular group of teachers. So he focuses on uh, teachers and particular group of learners. He also gives emphasis to learners and particular set of goals, particular institutional context, your e schools, your campus, your college, and then particular socio-cultural milieu. So five different particular things he has focused here. So these are, uh, you know, uh, better understood by the teacher and the teacher uh, is there to carry out resources. So, and pedagogy, like all politics is local. So teacher is responsible for carrying out resources to theorize what he has been practicing and practice what has been uh, theorized. Okay, then uh, this is all about uh, practicality. Then let me go to pedagogy uh, uh, particularity and practicality means uh, the parameter of practicality refers to the relationship between theory and practice and the practice of classroom teaching. Because uh, the theorist, the educationist, the researcher uh, uh, who propounds a certain theory in the Western European American context, that theory may not be equally applicable in all the context. Even in our context, if we take uh, the teacher of Tarai may not be equally uh, able to teach the students of Hima, Himali, Himalayan region and the teacher of Himalayan region may not be equally uh, uh, able to teach the students of Tarai region because we have diverse um, kind of, uh, you know, our diversities, uh, the teacher may not be aware of. So even in a same nation this happens then uh, the the context differs uh, uh, the practice differs the people who have who don't have experience of the real classroom teaching just assuming that and then propounding theories and then uh, the same methods and techniques if the teachers of one context uh, 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 apply then that may not work equally what marjorie was also talking about even the learners they themselves have different learning styles different learning strategies then how can these theories are uh, uh, equally applicable in all the context for example the grammar translation method direct method oss approach communicative approach uh, then um, nowadays uh, uh, other post method pedagogy kind of things have been emerging new kind of methodologies new kind of things have been emerging and it is all because of that a uh, single method cannot be perfect so uh, it is the best option is to teachers uh, in a particular context if they theorize their practice that works uh, its intention is that and pedagogy of possibility is uh, this is based on the works of uh, you know brazilian philosopher paulo freire american critical educationist henry girao roger simon this kind of people have talked about lots about uh, you know uh, raising critical awareness consciousness among the learners let's make them able to ask questions rather than rather than focusing on rote learning that does not have anything that just dehumanizes them what happens if they simply recite the things and then they pro reproduce 
um, by sitting in three hours examination that does not work let's uh, work towards making uh, taking them towards humanization let's at least make them able to uh, love uh, the coexistence with the nature let's uh, develop practical insights in them kind of things so the critical uh, pedagogy uh, advocates and then uh, the uh, goal of education should be like that of course then sorry admit all uh, pedagogy of possibility talks about the raising critical awareness among the learners then uh, uh, i will go to process of action research so uh, action research nowadays is also known as uh, exploratory action research and then uh, people talk that uh, exploratory re uh, uh, research and then action research when we combine it becomes exploratory action research before we had the steps like uh, plan act uh, observe and then reflect uh, we had uh, before, but nowadays, uh, plan to explore, explore, analyze, and reflect these three uh, kind of, uh, you know, steps have been added because simply, for example, uh, I will move to a very uh, particular example that uh, we teach us face in the classroom. That is, for example, our students are not motivated in the classrooms uh, in teaching learning practice then at that time, what happens? Simply, can we um, imagine that, uh, yes, uh, because uh, I'm not incorporating uh, ICT in my class, and due to this reason, my students are not, uh, are reluctant, uh, or not, are not motivated uh, in teaching learning uh, activity. We assume that, but the situation may not be that. For that reason, rather than jumping directly into the action, what we have to do is we have to explore the current situation. What actually is the situation? What actually is the situa situation? We explore that in exploration part. That's why we plan to explore. And then we explore, we collect data, and then we analyze and we reach the conclusion. Uh, and then uh, finally analyze and reflect. And this is the part of uh, exploration. These three stages, plan to explore, explore and analyze and reflect. These three are the part of exploration. And these four steps are the uh, steps of action research, plan to change, act, implement change, observe, see what happens with data and reflect, interpret what occurred. So here we plan to change. Yes, you try to understand that why the students are not motivated in teaching learning practice. For example, you collected data, maybe you distributed questionnaire, maybe you asked the students informally in the playground, what actually is the reason uh, uh, in the form of interview, a kind of things you did. And then you came to know that actually the students were not uh, demotivated because uh, you know uh, the ICT was not incorporated in the classroom teaching, uh, teaching and learning practice. Rather, the problem was because of lack of practice on the part of students. So simply, we teachers, if we give our students. Uh, uh, to practice once a week, twice a week to speak uh, or to practice in group work, in pair work, at that time it does not work. I mean, uh, uh, not always uh, we have to involve in practice, not always lack of practice demotivates them. There are different reasons. I mean, simply assuming uh, yes, this has been lacking, so this should be done. We cannot say this. What we have to do is we have to explore. We have to do very in a very systematic manner. We cannot jump into action at once. So what are the effects of the change that I attempt? Here, we intervene in the action research part. We intervene, we, uh, and then we see what change comes. And later on also, I'll discuss these steps. 
in detail okay now plan to explore this is a part of the exploration what we do here in plan to explore is simply we review the practice and decide any area on focus uh, of focus thinking questions and gathering information to answer questions we think about yes what works what does not work here in this thinking stage now we explore we collect data we we uh, develop questionnaire we uh, interview the students uh, we observe the situation and we explore yes yes simply by uh, incorporating video in the classroom does not work by playing songs by uh, playing some entertaining clips or by simply um, uh, playing some film extracts that is not going to motivate the learners this my data shows the same you can uh, you can reach one conclusion after getting out after collecting the data and what you do you yes sir Yes, sir. I'm just interfering. Sorry for this. Now your time is going to be over very soon. Uh, okay, sir. How just, many minutes left? Just five minutes remaining. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so let me conclude. And then we explore in this. And finally, what we do, we reach the conclusion. Yes, this part, uh, for example, here, uh, uh, lack of practice. Yes, I'm not giving my students uh, ample opportunities to practice at that time. Uh, now, how to increase uh, the students participation practice in, in the regular teaching and learning towards that aspect you focus on uh, then yes here uh, again again that was exploration part here in planning uh, here in uh, action research part what you do plan deciding what to change and planning how to collect further data now again you have to collect further data yes lack of practice is the um, problem that you face now you will uh, to plan this you will um, think about uh, collecting data and then you collect data um, uh, again you will develop questions related to now practice uh, what you do then they will get opportunities to practice you also reflect students also give um, uh, so many answers. So now you reach there. And finally, what you do, you implement change, applying intervention or change. And then let's see, now you observe whether that works or not. And then again, you reflect, and then it is really the intervention has worked or not. You reflect, and then again, another action research is required or not. If it is required, again, you will carry out a research. If not, if it is working, at least for this problem, this action research worked. This way you go. Okay, my time is about to go. So, uh, all, all right, about uh, reflective strategies, uh, I had made some uh, slides, uh, though they were related, it's okay. Uh, action research I presented, and finally, uh, yes, Final slide I will raise, yes, learning. What we say, uh, learning, 70% learning is possible uh, uh, through experience, you see. And 20% we learn from feedback. We receive from our colleagues, from our seniors, from our teachers, from our students. And from formal education, we learn 10% only. And we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflection, on experience, uh, John Dewey says this, simply uh, from experience we don't learn, but from uh, reflection on experience we learn. That's why I had emphasized on reflection also. Simply participating in the conference does not work. What we have to do is we have to reflect on. Now, I hope in the evening you will write notes, you will write uh, uh, reflection on after participating in the conferences, after participating in your daily teaching and learning kind of things. These things are really, really essential. So reflect on your experience. This is very, very useful. Uh, and these are some of the works that I consulted while preparing this uh, presentation. Uh, how was the session today? Menti.com, I think didn't work. It's okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, fine, almost I completed. Finally, uh, what I want to show you is just two minutes, uh, more than two minutes, I don't uh, want from you. Mm, sorry, where do I have? Yes, it is here. My report. I hope this works. Mm. 
Uh, this is the uh, D answer. Is my screen share? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Simply, I hope it works. Yes. Uh, this is the report that I developed based on that, and this is going to be uh published shortly as i inquired about is its publication with sagun sreshtasar of uh, uh, dublin city university and he was telling me that it's going to be uh, published shortly let me okay fine All right right yes so uh, okay yeah. is it over uh, almost sir, just one minute. So simply, dear participants, uh, what we do, our introduction will be there in research report. The problem background, what kind of background, uh, your teaching background, your problems background, you will write uh, in this part. And then uh, your objectives of carrying out this action research, uh, you will write here. Then you will write research questions and exploration methodology you will write. Uh, here methodology, you don't have to uh, bother about uh, writing research paradigm that ontology, epistemology, axiology kind of things, simply methods uh, of data collection you will explain here. Data collection, these questionnaires you can put here. And informal group discussion was also there uh, as a method of data collection of mine. And then some pictures and finally plan for action and then uh, action for change, what I did. Uh, so due to lack of time, I could not read this. And then uh, this way after the action observation, what, what change did you find after intervention and reflection finally, you will reflect, you will uh, end then final conclusion, you will write in this format if needed. After publication, I'll be sharing with you all this. Uh, so uh, this is what we do in action research. This is uh, indeed uh, the job of the teacher also. Uh, we need to be uh, proactive also. Thank you so much for right. your uh, active participation. And thank you so much, Nelta, Province 7, and DNSR for this opportunity to share my feelings with all the scholarly people uh, uh, who are present here virtually in this conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Puspa, sir, for the wonderful presentation. Actually, you know, once I read about, you know, uh, Ken Burns, you know, Ken Burns has said that I don't use composers. I research music the way I research the photographs or the mm -hmm. facts in my script. This is what he has said. You know, it means that, you know, the teacher is always action researcher. He never composed these all things. He uh -huh. just researches the music. Music means yeah. the students, their learnings, their, and the teacher himself's activities or herself activities. These all things he researches, researches again and again, and finally give the solution in teaching and learning field. This is what you call the teachers are not a composer. They are the researchers of self, researchers of students, learning differences and these all. So you are the perfect, you know, this is the timely issue as well. All the teachers should be aware about this action research. Uh, thank you so much, Puspa, sir. Uh, on behalf of NELTA, uh, Province 7 will be awarding you with the certificate as well of the speaker. Thank you so much for being with us. Going to the time uh, you know, uh, limitation, I can continue the answer question session as Dr. Rana has let on the class also. Okay, so he's sir. waiting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much, I will sir. Thank you. I sharing my screen. Thank you so much once again for this opportunity. Thank you. So Dr. Rana is here, I think. Uh, Karnas, sir, are you there? Yes. Uh, OK. So Karnas, sir, is there. Now, anyway. Uh, Karna sir, a well-known name uh, in academia, uh, who has been working in uh, Nepal Open University as well at Nepal Open o University. Um, and to introduce him formally, I would like to request uh, Min Dawari sir. Min Dawari sir, over to you. Uh, thank you, dear sir, uh, for this privilege. Uh, namaste and good afternoon to you all. Uh, I feel immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all the participants in this session on behalf of Nelta Paroes Province. Uh, this is the fourth session of uh, the day, last but not the least. Dr. Kornorana, uh, who is 
my guru too at Nepal Open University uh, will facilitate this session. I feel fortunate enough uh, for this opportunity to announce his name in this forum. 